So a very important lesson learned this week. Never talk about how good equipment is in the previous vlog and expect it to work in the next vlog. I said how great my audio recorder was last week and in this vlog the audio recorder failed completely. So I'm having to do an Attenborough and do a voiceover over the top of all my footage. Hopefully it goes alright. Here is man walking into the wilderness. Right, I was at Lytham, which is just down the coast from Blackpool, and it was a lovely spring day, and the blue skies were out. There's hardly any clouds in the sky. A few more clouds would have added a bit more atmosphere. But it was a family day, so lots of compromise, and lots of playing on the beach with my sons and my wife, and then a few minutes away by myself to take some photos and film a blog. I... This is me wandering along the beach saying how I wasn't expecting to get anything. Um, I turned up, we parked on the seafront and the sea was really far away. There was no one on the beach and it was just a bleak, vast wilderness. But then I came across this log, which you can see in the background there. It's more of a branch really than a log. Look at that, I'm pointing at it. And there was so little on the beach, there was so little to actually sort of attract your eye that this log just grabbed me straight away. And I did three different compositions, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But here, it's this one. It just looks really, really nice, really... I just like to hear it. So I had my 18 to 55mm lens out, and I took three shots in all. I think the... The closer one, which you've just seen, was my favourite, but I took three. I took one at 18mm, I took one at about 33, 34mm, and one at 55mm. That's what I'm telling you there on the screen. But I wasn't sure when I was taking it, because each shot looks really nice. Um, when, you, when I was pulled out completely, the branch was just quite small, and the, the vastness of the blue sky, like untouched blue sky, because there were no clouds around. Um, and the and the sands, it just sort of stood out. But then when you were really close as well, it was quite dominating. And the lines, the parallel lines of the horizon, and the um, parallel lines of the horizon and of the branch were really nice. I thought as well. So there I am. I'm just talking about the technicality of stuff, which I don't normally do. Uh, I think I was shooting about f f8. I think. I do quite a bit of technical talking in this, which is really good when you lose a load of audio and try and have to remember it all. So yeah, it looked really nice, it looked quite spot on, and I hope you enjoyed that shot. I then, from there, head off down the beach in search of something else. There was loads of crap on the beach. Oh yeah, sorry. This is the point where my battery ran out, so I had to swap it. There was loads of stuff on the beach, loads of flotsam and jetsam. Uh, that had been swept in. The good thing about Lytham is that it's quite flat, so the sea does go quite far in, but then it completely disappears back out as well, leaving all sorts of stuff for you to take pictures of. So, I... Yeah, as I say, when I turned up, it was definitely a bit of an eye-opener because there was so little there, but I ended up calling this vlog something from nothing straight away because I wasn't expecting anything. I was expecting very little. Uh, it was going to be more of a family morning out. I took a very limited amount of gear with me, but I definitely got a few shots. So even if it's a vast wilderness, you can always try and find something. There'll always be something to grab your eye, hopefully. So these are the next shots that I was that sort of captured me. Uh, one of them was a there was like a McDonald's con uh, McDonald's drinks carton sticking out the ground sort of half, half full of sand and then there was that log as well or branch which was creating some nice shadows uh, it's a bit of an unusual looking branch and the shadows sort of added to the picture as well there I am walking off into the distance, man looking for his fish and chips, which we did get afterwards. But yeah, it was lovely, it was lovely, it is a lovely beach, um, as I said a bit more atmosphere in the sky would have been, would have been brilliant, 
But here I am. I found a S shape in the in the water leading out to the sea, but it was just, in order to take a picture of it. I had to. I was basically shipping into the sun. So you know what I'm like now. Out comes a trusty ten stop. Um, it's so windy as well as you can see from that. Ten stop comes out and I screw it on. But the um, ended up thinking that my positioning wasn't that great. I finally screwed that onto the front of the camera. It was really windy. Gave it a quick wipe. And the problem that I was having is that I was shooting directly into the sun. As you can see there, the sun's bouncing off the water. But I think if I was positioned slightly higher, if I was stood on, if like the, um, if it was just underneath like the, a sandbank or a sand dune or something, I think it would have been a really nice shot. <laughs> So there you go, that shot. I think it was quite nice. It wasn't amazing, but it was it was nice. Um, and then I started to think that I was probably pushing my luck a little bit. I needed to get back to the kids and the wife. As it was a family afternoon. Family morning, in fact. So, yeah, lots of compromise in this video. Lots of lessons learned. Always check your audio. But the beach and shooting towards the sea, it's... I mean, that, that one trip to Lytham has definitely opened my eyes a little bit. There's always something that you can take a picture of, I think, and just putting yourself in that situation is definitely a good thing to do. You don't need to look for... You don't always need to visit some somewhere magnificent. You don't always have to spend money and go for a few days somewhere. You can just literally bob down to your local beach and take some pictures and they will always be different because someone's probably not going to go on the same day as you although there was a guy flying his drone um, when I was there I didn't take mine because I couldn't put it in the car and it was a family day but as the sea changes so much there's always something new being brought in so yeah look at the fact there was no one there I do a little spin around there was no one there completely untouched probably because it was midweek which was lovely so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, even though it was a bit of a random one. Sorry about the voiceover, I am not David Attenborough, but this is, look at the man, venturing off now to get his dinner, going to rejoin the tribe. Anyway, so yeah, please subscribe to the channel, if you like the video, like the video, and check out the social media links below, and at the end of this video there will also be links to another video of mine and something else that inspires me this week. There we go, I'm waving goodbye, so thanks for watching, bye for now.